Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. It's me, Danny, with the part... Oh my god, what just happened? Is that a murder? Anyway, it's part two of... <clears throat> if I don't choke and die. The Godzilla against Mechagodzilla slash Tokyo SOS. Kiryu and Godzilla figures today. Because we're looking at both. And Mothra as well. But we're continuing... The Kiryu figures moving on to the 8 inch. So if you haven't watched the previous video, go watch it. That's where I start off. Okay? That's season 1. We're on season 2 right now. Which is 8 inch Bandai Kiryu. Which is an amazing looking figure. Very simple. Uh, very basic pose. And I love it. That's how I like them. And the paint job is amazing. Because it's the older figure. Not that old. Obviously the film came out in like... 2003, I believe. 2002. Wait, which one am I talking about? Kiryu was in two movies, so I'm getting it confused. I'm thinking Tokyo SOS, but wait a minute, it was also Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. And now that I think about it, early 2000s are pretty far away. Like, there's probably some kids watching right now that weren't even born. They don't even know what 2004 is or anything before that. I'm old. I'm 26. So, making myself very dated. Uh, we're looking at the armored versions now. I'm losing track over here. Sorry, I'm tired. I came home from work and the gym. I need protein. I made a chicken sandwich. Didn't turn out good. It was a microwavable one. I'm just going to go pick up food. I do not feel like cooking. And I have a lot of dishes to do. Look at me being old again. We're just, con just continue showing how old I am. Ugh. Anyway. This is a uh, Type 3, and uh, it, you can kind of look at it. He has a little bit of a warp uh, with these uh, Bandai 8-inch figures. They're very hollow in the center. They're pretty. You can actually squeeze some of them. You can see there's nothing in these figures, which I mean most 6-inch figures are the same thing, but with these soft final 8-inch ones, from my personal experience, you tend to notice it more, and it leads to more warping, and uh, you'll see some of them... Uh, over time, just sitting on a shelf, they will start to like their legs will start to spread. Uh, Gigan, Kaiser Ghidorah both experienced that. Both figures I have. Um, it's just an unfortunate issue, but it tends it, it's just the way it is. But they're still it's still good. It's not horribly warped. Um, you know, it still looks great. So nothing to nothing to panic about. Uh, but th that's probably my most recent. Either that one or the first eight inch Kiryu, the basic form. Is my most recent pickup, which is not very recent at all. It was a few years ago, but still, they don't really make Bandai 8 inch anymore, so. Sad, sad times. This guy, though, this is another special one because this is my second Godzilla figure ever. I remember getting this, and I got this probably around the time it came out. My dad got it for me for a, a holiday. Um,. How do you get it? eBay, I think, more than likely. It had to be eBay. They didn't sell these in the U.S. Um, but, yeah. And I love this figure. Had it ever since. Again, me being a young, dumb kid, I cut the tag off. Because I do remember the 8-inch the, the ones had tags. They did. So, I cut it off. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they had tags. I know, it's been so long. You know, early 2000s. That was like thousands of years ago to some of you. You know, there was no Fortnite. There was no Apex Legends. There was Super Monkey Ball, though. Wait, was there? Yeah. There was Halo, too, also. I should probably just say that, because you know I'm a big Halo nerd as, as well. But yeah, this figure still holds up very well. Uh, a little warped as one of the fins, but that's okay. Uh, I kind of showed it in the back. But These figures both look great. I definitely lead more towards the uh, heavy armor over here. That my, not just because it was my second figure ever, but I think it just looks nicer. Something about the uh, Type 3 looks a little bit more, I don't know, too smooth for my liking. But now that I'm looking at them on camera, though, I'm looking, it kind of looks like heavy armor just has way more detail in certain areas. That's probably why. So they're all great. They're all really good. And I'm just happy to have these because, like I said, Kiryu is one of my favorite mechs, one of my favorite kaiju. And the figures of this of this mech are amazing um even some of the more recent ones minus the you know movie monster series type 3 
not the best. Oh, but look at this. We're going even bigger. I got lucky when I found this because this is way... Well, this is when this thing was kind of rare because these used to be like everywhere, but now they were a bit more rare. And I found it at a Target. Uh, this is, I believe, at 12-inch scale Kiryu from Bandai USA. I think it might have been Bandai Japan and just ported over to US. I don't know. Uh, but I'm pretty, I think it was Bandai USA that made this. Or at least distributed, obviously. But this figure is awesome. I was so happy when I found it. Because it was the last time I ever saw it, to be honest. At least I think. Because, again, by that time, this, these things were, were heading out the door. Because they were no longer in print. Um, but it is a great looking figure. And if it is Bandai America... I have to give them props because you know sometimes they take some liberties with some designs and kind of tweak them just a little bit and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this time it definitely worked Bandai 07 so maybe it was just Japanese Bandai maybe I don't know it doesn't matter it's, it's Bandai you know they, they they did something so all these curios get a thumbs up so again go watch my first video it has my six inch scale curios along with the gun plover or the model kit version so anyway we're moving on changing uh titans here now we got the most insane titan of all mothra larva i'm gonna be honest so i'm showing this off because i think it's the uh mothra larva from tokyo sos it may not it might not be who honestly cares it's mothra larva it's not could be any that could be the original mothra larva from the original mothra movie but it's a six inch six inch one on amazon uh it's the one you can easily find now uh and it scales pretty good but i'm gonna show something that's always kind of made me feel weird i don't know if it's just the toys maybe it's also the uh in the movies too but we're gonna look at it right here because now we're pulling out mothra this may also be mothra from uh final wars I'm throwing it in this video though, just because this looks like the Mothra from Tokyo SOS to me. Uh, although the tag shows the Heisei Mothra for some reason, so I don't know what the what happened there. Someone messed up at the printer. But this Mothra looks amazing. Uh, not my favorite design of Mothra though. I do really enjoy the Heisei design, which I do have the figure of. So, um, but this is still not bad. It's good representation. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why they messed up the tag. How do you mess that up? Did I say I'm tired? I want to let that know. I'm not as energetic right now. I'm, I'm tired. I'm sorry. So, uh, okay, so here's the discrepancy that bothers me. Look how big Mothra larva is to adult Mothra. Shouldn't Mothra's body be as big as the larva, if not bigger? I don't think... And I'm not a scientist. I don't study caterpillars. But I don't think they shrink. I think when they arise, arise from the cocoon, they're bigger. But who knows? I could be completely wrong. I need to go to a butterfly farm or something and get, get my facts straight. Uh, we're moving on, though. This right here, we're moving on to the big G himself, Godzilla. This, some of you may have. One of the last NECA figures ever made. Uh, well, NECA Godzilla figures, obviously. This is the Tokyo SOS Godzilla, and uh, I love this design of Godzilla. I'm going to say that right now. One of my favorites. It's pretty iconic, too, because you see this design used in a lot of the comics, such as Rules of Earth, Godzilla in Hell. Um, I think it's also used. I'm looking at the one issue of Here There Be Dragons. I think it's also used in there, maybe. Uh, I could be wrong, but it's just... It's everywhere. It's a very popular design. But surprisingly, this is like the only 6-inch version of it. Although, it's still a little bit taller than 6-inch. I think it's like 6.5 to 7-inch. Uh, oh, what is this? Uh, there might actually be a 6-inch version of that that's like remote-controlled, I think. I don't know. But I just want to... I want a movie monster series 6-inch scale of this Godzilla. But for some reason, there's not one. At least not yet. Bandai, come on, get on it. They probably will do it soon, honestly. Maybe even this year. We'll see. Fingers crossed because it's a great design. This I got at a flea market. 
Um, it's another three and three quarter Godzilla. It, I got lucky when I found it. It was just a pile of stuff, and he gave it to me for like two bucks. So it was a good deal. And I'm very happy. But this is obviously not that. Uh, this is eight inch. Yeah, this is no, is it eight or ten inch? I get mixed up with these sometimes. And now I'm thinking about it, the Kiryu's I was talking about. I said eight inch scale. I think those might have been ten inch too. Where's the ruler? I need to start measuring this stuff on camera. That way I know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, that's the Godzilla. We'll just say nine inch. We'll be in the middle. Fantastic looking figure. Very happy I have it. Uh, again, this design of Godzilla is fantastic and I love it. I definitely lean more towards the nine inch, eight inch, 10 inch, whatever figure. It looks the best in my opinion. Uh, also, I want to say that miniature or that three and three quarter right there. Uh, that was not a recent release from Target. That I found that years ago at a flea market. So I don't know where that came from because again, it was just in a pile of stuff. So it's probably on eBay somewhere. Someone can tell me what it is, but or where it came from. So, but yeah, I definitely like out of all of these. Uh, the NECA one's pretty cool too, uh, but the eight-inch Bandai I love. It just look at it. It just looks so good. And oh shit, surprise! We got another one. Now this one is the one that has the scar after he gets hit with the absolute zero cannon uh, in Tokyo, or well, at the end of uh, against Mechagodzilla. And then into Tokyo SOS, he has that scar on his chest. And there it is, you can see it. And this figure, as you'll kind of see here, we're about to do this uh, comparison, is pretty much the same exact mold, except the scar, obviously no shit and the mouth is closed so that's why i have both and the paint's a little bit different just slightly different but that could also just be you know the factory how it was made but the tail's the same uh, the sculpts besides the mouth are the same so pretty much the same except two key differences is the chest and the mouth so very happy to have these because they just look so good i love this design it's iconic and it's just they, they killed it they cooked in the, that that shop wherever they made these suits back in the early 2000s which was about 20,000 years ago so anyway guys that is it for the Kiryu saga of figures I believe hopefully I didn't forget any because I sometimes I forget what exactly I have in my collection but I'm pretty sure I got them all so Next week should be Final Wars. It probably will also be broken up into multiple videos. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And then I got to do an updated collection. Because it's been over a year now since I've done a collection video. So we'll definitely do that. And then we'll go from there. Uh, update on getting the Battle Roars. Because I know I'm lazy. I have the Kong. Uh, that was the only one I could find. So progress has been made uh, i'll try to get that video out hopefully before the movie comes out we're we're a month away it, it's march people we're getting close it's gonna be great so i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all take care and i'll see you all next time